Well, uh, Mandy, I'm going to start tasting some of the Maltese specialities. However, Dr. Alfred Sand, former Prime Minister, mm -hmm. uh, currently an MEP for the party in power here in Malta, he's going to meet you on the boardwalk. You've got a couple of questions prepared for him, I think. Yes, uh, I prepared some questions about immigration, education, since I'm a teacher, um, and a personal question that I would, I would love to ask him. So okay, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm curious to know what he said. Oh, it's delicious. Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Sands. We're meeting here today at the main fishing village of Malta, let's say. The most traditional village, yes, fishing is. village that remains in Malta. And most of the restaurants you see over there are really part of, owned by families, which are fishing families. The problem has been over the years that they've gone less and less, the business has gone down. As far as fishing is concerned, um, they have had to accept European regulations on catches and things like that. And they claim that uh, they are not earning as much as they used to do in the past. A few years ago, let's say, um, you were the Prime Minister of Malta. In my opinion, you were a bit sceptic uh, about the Euro European Union, uh, or maybe against it. That's what I felt. Um, now you're working for the European Union. Can you tell me more about that? I was, never against, I was never against the European Union. We always said it's a very positive development to have a union of European nations. So we said the best relationship for Malta would be a special kind of relationship which would take account of the fact that we're a small island. Well, we've been in the European Union now for about 10 years, yes. a, bit, a bit more. If you ask the majority of experts, local experts and journalists, they will tell you we've done very, very, very well. I'm well, let's use the word skeptical about that. If you look at the growth rates over the last 10 years, they have been less than they we used to have for economic growth rates before that. Those sectors where we have really boomed over the years, especially financial services, for instance, and uh, tourism, mm -hmm. high gaming as well, um, are really outside most European Union policies. So whether we were in or out, they probably would also have boomed. Where the European Union has been very positive in Malta is on two, three, four fronts, like, for instance, environment. A number of changes in our environmental laws were pushed through European Union regulations. Now, one could argue that we should have done that or we could have done that ourselves. But... And regards, um, I am a teacher, uh, a French and Spanish teacher, in regards to education. Uh, um, had, has the European Union changed something in, in that sector? Well, it's been contributing to programs basically at uh, university or post-university level. Mm -hmm. And parts of them have come through exchanges as well, which is very, very good. But it hasn't had such an impact on the secondary and the primary levels, which are mostly under uh, national control. And we, we, of course, need to invest more, I think. Uh, I had an, another question, if you don't mind, about immigration. I don't know what the European Union is doing uh, in regards to the to taking care of this problem? have been problems because people look at it, countries look at it from the national interest, and they're divided. That's what I think too. The Europeans are now turning to Turkey. Turkey has about 3 million refugees there from Syria. So they have to discuss to see what can be done for Turkey to keep those refugees, wait till eventually, let's hope, the Syrian problem is resolved, and a number of them will want to go back. But that's not a plan, that's not a solution. So Mandy, how did it go? I'm glad I had this opportunity. It was very interesting. He's a really nice person. It was quite informal. I thought it was going to be more formal. He made it ever to answer all my questions, like really in detail. So I appreciated that a real lot. Mandy, thanks so much for your time and showing us your Malta. That brings us to the end of the first half of the show.